Hey, Redneck, why aren't you using solar power? All right, so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you, Redneck, how you can use solar power to make your life a whole lot easier and do some things cheaper. And I'm not talking about putting a $15,000 uh, solar system uh, into your mobile home with the panels up on the roof and everything. Just a few simple ways that for not too much money, uh, you can use solar power to help you. All right, so what we have here is the nerve center of my fancy solar setup. Take a look at the components here. This is in my shop. Got a uh, simple battery tender charging unit. We put this on there. This is hooked to the solar panels outside. We put this on there to uh, on there to prevent the uh, panels from overcharging these batteries. It'll control the charge. It's a charge controller in fancy solar terms. So these wires lead outside to my solar panel. Then uh, this charge controller is hooked up into two marine 12 volt batteries that are wired in series so that we get 12 volts out. If we wanted to try and run a 20 volt, 24 volt system, we'd wire them in parallel. Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. but that would take a different version of the next component here, which is an inverter. This is just a 1500 watt inverter. So, you know, I'm not gonna run a skill saw or anything off of this system. Although I do have plans to upgrade that. If you went up to probably about a 3000 watt inverter, I think maybe would run a skill saw and we actually have a future project plan. We're gonna convert a well we have here on the property to solar. And in that case, we, uh, may, we may well go 24 volts where we wire our batteries up parallel. And then from the inverter, I just go up here to this power strip. And then that power strip via these cords runs everything else in the shop. What I've got running right now is one, two, three, four lights also run fans off of this in the summertime. There's another fan that we use in the summertime. So let's add it up here. So these marine batteries, if you've got a core, if you can wrangle up an old core somewhere and you don't have to pay the core charge, these batteries, probably about hundred bucks a piece. So you got 200 in the batteries. 1500 watt inverter was little over 100 bucks, maybe 115, 120 bucks, or say, let's say we're at 325. The uh, charge controller there, just the battery tender that I've repurposed as a charge controller, eh, maybe $29, something like that. And then at the time that I bought them about eight years ago, I think I paid about 150 bucks for the uh, 90 watts worth of solar panels that I've got outside, but I think you could get that much for a uh, for cheaper now and probably get higher efficiency panels as well. I do have some plans to upgrade this system in the future. Ideally, I'd like to be able to run power tools off this and running power tools off of it. If I'm not gonna be doing it for an extended period of time, I probably got enough battery right here. The, the issue is that's not nearly enough inverter and you're gonna have to get into probably a three, $400 inverter to have enough oomph in it to be able to run a table saw or anything like that, even for just a few minutes. But there we go. That's uh. That's converted my entire shop into solar, runs lights, runs fans so I can work in here in the summertime. Less than $500, a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, it would have been to get a pole and a meter put outside and get all the inspections done, try and re-electrify this place. So here's a shot of the other main component to the solar system in my shop. Those are the panels. I believe those are three times 30 for 90 total. 
bought these about eight years ago. Uh, I could get equivalent uh, with probably higher output for less money now, but it is what it is. There you can see the wire coming out of the back. Drilled a little hole in the side of the trailer here, ran it inside. That's where it goes into the charge controller. A lot of work needs to be done on the outside of this old shop, but it's weather tight. So I've been a little hesitant to work on some of that, but you can see I need to reframe around some of the windows, do a few things. But there you go.